Hello, this is Don Tincher and welcome to the Wayne County Sports Report on WCTV. Week two of the high school football season gets underway tonight when the Richmond Red Devils travel to Eaton for a rare Thursday night affair at 7 p.m. The contest was moved to Thursday because it will be televised on Dayton 24-7 now. The Red Devils are coming off a 19-13 loss at home to Connorsville last week. A critical Tri-Eastern Conference matchup is on tap Friday night as Centerville visits Hagerstown. Centerville is coming off a 68-8 victory at Lincoln in last Friday's season opener. We know Hagerstown's going to be physical. We are at their place this year, so we expect a dogfight. Um, Hagerstown, great, uh, great team, well coached. So we know we're going to we're going to have a fight on our hands next Friday. Hagerstown took care of league foe Knightstown 51 to 20 last week. As the Tigers look forward to Friday night, Hagerstown coach Scott Snodgrass hopes his team is ready. Uh, heading into Friday night, I mean, Centerville has 60 plus kids on their team, so they've got some depth. Uh, uh, Watching them on film, they've got some speed and some athleticism, and um, you know, for the most part, for us, it's just going to be doing what we do well and focusing on that. Uh, we're preparing for a very physical game. Last year's game was uh, very physical, and uh, we were young back then, and uh, we're a little older now, so I think that we'll be able to match physicality pretty well, and that's kind of the mindset we're taking into this week. It's going to be a tough battle. It's going to be a good game. Uh, Centerville's got some really talented players, and, uh, but I think we do too, so we'll see how it pans out. Last week, Northeastern beat Union County 61-0, so the Knights are looking for their second straight win in the TEC as they entertain Try High. We got a big, a big opponent here week two uh, early in the season, so um, you know, hopefully we're ready. Um, I think the, the, the younger guys playing for the first time didn't, didn't play like younger guys. Um, and, and we know this one's been circled on our calendars in the off season. Um, they've gotten us the last couple of years and, and Coach Tudoro does a great job there. It's a, it's a really good program. Um, a, lot of, a lot of juniors and seniors playing on both sides of the ball, you know, similar to us. So uh, we're glad it's at home, but we're, it's going to be a, a physical uh, matchup all night and it's going to come down to who executes and, and who makes the fewest mistakes. Lincoln is back in action at home on Friday as the Golden Eagles will host Union County. Highlighting Saturday's schedule is a couple of Wayne County events. Centerville, Lincoln, and Northeastern all head to Hartley Hills in Hagerstown for the Wayne County Girls Golf Tournament. Centerville edged Northeastern by one stroke to claim the title last season. Runners from all six schools will be competing in the Wayne County Cross Country Invitational on the course at Indiana University East. Richmond's boys won the championship last fall, while the Centerville girls took home their trophy. This will be the second week in a row that the Red Devils competed at IU East. During the Richmond Invitational last Saturday, the Red Devils were third in the boys' event, while the girls were fourth. Good luck to all of the area athletes this weekend, and make sure to support your local high school teams. Remember to check out the Wayne County Sports Report every day on PressRoomPass.com for all the upcoming schedules and results. Thanks for watching the Wayne County Sports Report on WCTV.